Almost a year ago, I told myself that I am done farming worms. Well, I guess I lied. Because recently I got back to farming scatters. Why? Why would you do this to yourself? <sighs> you know, I wonder these things myself. Sometimes I think I'm crazy or something. Maybe I am. Or maybe scatter farming is actually really good. And I'm just being smart by doing it. I'll take the second option because it makes sense once you finish watching this video. So why did I start farming scatters again? Alright, let's start from the beginning. The Crimson Isles came out and my friend was like, Yo, come play some Hypixel Skyblock again. I was like, no, you can't make me. Nothing will make me play Hypixel Skyblock again. And you know what happened next? I decided to log in because, I don't know, my mouth is saying no, but my brain is like, Yo bro, it's been like what, a few months since you've played? I think you should go on. And so I did. I did a bit of fishing, a bit of Kudra, a bit of everything that's in the new Crimson Isles update. But then I was like, hmm. I need some money. Of course, to live in a society, you need money. Don't tell me that you can't buy happiness with money. That doesn't apply in Hypixel Skyblock. You can buy Hyperion and you'll be happy because you can legit do everything. Especially stealing people's fishing mobs. Like man, if you use a Hyperion to steal people's fishing mobs, you're a Hyperion on. Probably someone that just dropped a hand on their first run. Anyways, like I was saying, money equals happiness. But I didn't know how to make money anymore. Well, I mean the Crimson Isle of Fishing would make me a lot of money. But you know what? I wanted to max out my magma rod. So I guess I didn't actually make money. However, one day, I found a way to make money. My friend decided to go on Discord and sent a screenshot of him getting a legendary scatter. And I was like, huh? What? What the? Am I dreaming? What? I was not dreaming. That was for sure. So I was like, if he could get a legendary scatter pet in his first few kills, why can't I? That was not the only thing that encouraged me to farm scatters again. So, some people may not know this, but a few months ago, they buffed the drop rate of the pet by 4 times. And this was after I quit farming scatters. Typical Hypixel Skyblog making RNG drop rates easier after I decided to quit farming the drop. You see, 4 times is a big multiplier. As someone that believes in magic find, yes, magic find is a real stat. I also believed in the 4 times better drop chance. The increased drop chance also means that the scatter pet would be cheaper, yes, but Farming scatters can still make you money. You can make money off selling hardstone and fine gemstones that the scatters drop. But to make a lot of money, you will want to drop a pet. And so I did. Yes, me, Rhythm Beat, have dropped a scatter pet. Oh ho, not just one, not just two, but three scatter pets in less than two weeks. How many kills? Well, after the buff drop chance, it took me around 200 kills, which is actually really good. So why did I decide to continue farming more after the first pet drop? Well, I will try to recreate the scene as accurate as possible because I only recorded the gameplay, not the audio. Wait, scatter pet? Oh my god, oh my god. I got a screenshot. Wait, is this a dream? This is a scatter pet, right? Hmm, this feels too good to be true. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a scatter pet. Yeah, time to sell this and maybe farm more later. Woo! Alright, that was my best impersonation of my reaction to the first scatter pet I dropped. I sold it for around 95 million coins. And I got the pet maybe around 5 hours. 95 million in 5 hours is not bad. So I decided that I will continue to farm for more scatter pets. The next scatter I dropped was on the day after the first scatter dropped. It was an epic scatter instead of a rare scatter. So when I got the epic scatter, I was like, wow. This is what it feels like to be lucky? I just stood there for a good while just admiring how lucky I was. Of course, I sold it and got like 155 million coins from selling it. I also realized a pattern. The first one I got was a rare scatter pet. The second one I got was an epic scatter pet. Then I was like, maybe the next one would be a legendary one. And spoilers, it was. To be honest, when I was farming for the third scatter pet, 
I was aiming to get another rare scatter pet because 2 days had passed and I didn't get any pet drops. So it was a bit concerning. But then the third day, I got a legendary scatter pet. I couldn't believe it. And if you're looking at the video, I was so surprised that my hands were actually shaking. So instead of hovering the scatter pet, my mouse was on mid throw instead. I haven't had my heartbeat so fast since the pacer test. But what did I do with the legendary scatter pet? A. Sell it. B. Throw it in the garbage can. C. Keep it. If you chose C, then you are correct. So, why did I not decide to sell it for 300 million coins, just like the other scatter pets that I have dropped? Well, it's because I'm probably never scatter farming ever again, so it would be nice to have a scatter pet if I ever decide to mine again. Also, I haven't maxed out Mithor powder and gemstone powder, so treasure chest farming would be pretty nice with a scatter pet. The last reason why I kept the scatter pet is that it serves as a reminder. A reminder that I should never grind something that has low drop rates. I should just stick with fishing or gemstone mining, even though it's not that fun. Anyways, did someone say Diana is mayor? Also, if you have noticed in the clips of me dropping the scatter pets, my magic find gets progressively higher. When I dropped the rare scatter pet, I was using a fishing rod with Lucky Reforge. The Lucky Reforge gives magic find. When I dropped the epic scatter pet, I had a Daedalus Axe. Yes, I spent a lot of money just to have a bit more magic find. When I dropped the legendary scatter pet, my talismans were enriched with magic find instead of sea creature chance. I'm sorry fishing, but you gotta go. I also bought a pet luck cake and magic find cake. Obviously, all of that was worth it. Believe in the power of magic find and pet luck. By getting all three rarities of the scatter pet, I have conquered scatter farming. If you also want to farm scatters, I'd advise you not to do so if you don't have the patience. Because you can go insane. I mean, I kinda did and my friends think I'm crazy for it. The gear I recommend is Renowned Sorrow Armor, Black Cat, or Bow Pet with Lucky Clover as the pet item. Any pickaxe or drill will work, as long as you can break hardstone. You will also want to have at least 1500 mining speed to break hardstone instantly. So think about getting more mining speed into the heart of the mountain. Like I mentioned before, a high rarity fishing rod, reforged with lucky, or a daedalus axe would be good. Some people say that looting works on scatters, so just get looting for anyways. It is cheap. If you are rich, you can enrich your talismans to magic fine. And lastly, get yourself a magic fine cake and pet luck cake. This is the end of the video. I'm so happy I'm done with scatter farming. Hopefully, you're able to get yourself a scatter pet if you're farming for it. Or maybe you just get it first try and rub it in my face.